Hi, how are you? Good morning. Good to see you. Your name is? Kareem Delia. Hi, Kareem. My name is Jack Lane. Oh, let's see. And which position are you applying for today? Dishwash. Okay. Definitely need dishwash. You did some work at the Smokehouse Cafe. Mm -hmm. That was dishwasher. Um, all right, let me just ask you a question. I see here that you. Did you live in Pittsburgh? No, I did. Oh, okay. Let's well, see. You, you got your GED in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I was a uh, carcery. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so that was in the facility in Pittsburgh? I know. And how long were you uh, incarcerated? 32 months. Okay. Yeah, be scared there for a minute. I thought you were going to say years. <laughs> All right. Well, let me see what else you got here. Um, okay, so you got your GED. That's good. So I think you just got that last uh, September. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was good. Programs that you completed, I guess, while you were incarcerated? No. Okay. Education centers. Okay, so now let me ask you a question. Out of this, um, in May of 2011, I see that you completed this uh, uh, therapeutic community program. Mm -hmm. You had to pick just one thing. One, what's one thing maybe that you learned out of there that, that you felt might make you a more improved person today? That my actions, my actions affect more people than just me, like my family, my friends. Like even though I'm the one that that's paying for it, some of the things I did. In the long run still affects them. Okay, that's important. That's important. Yeah. Do Do you feel that um, that when you came out of uh, prison that uh, you left a more improved or better person than when you went in? Yeah. Okay. And aside from that one thing that you mentioned about your actions, um, a a anything else that you can tell me that um, that you learned that would make me. I want to give you a second chance at heart. Why, why should I take that shot for you? When I, um, the day I was arrested, or the day I turned myself in, how do you want to look at it? Okay. It was, it was like something, when I was in the back of the van, something came over me, like it was like relief. And I just didn't want to do this no more. Like, I'm trying to live a normal life. I'm not trying to be in the streets. Like, I just need a chance. Like, that's all I'm asking for. Okay, that's fair. That's I, mean, I could I could show you better than I can tell you. Okay. Um, so I assume that being away for 32 months obviously accounts for um, uh, why we don't have a lot of jobs over the last you know few years. But I can I can understand that. Um, is there? Um, Aside from the Smokehouse Cafe, was there any other uh, jobs that you actually did that got involved with uh, being, you know, um, busboy dishwasher? Uh, other than around the house? No, that was it. Okay. So, so you actually did, did some work in the kitchen around the house? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that, well that's, that's good. Um, you have that here that, that skills that, that um, you're self motivated and you're dependable. And give me an example of how you're self motivated and dependable. 
and I've been uh, in my job search, like I didn't we have to wait for nobody to jump on me and say, oh, you need to go look for a job. Like, as soon as I came home, that's the first thing I wanted to do. Okay. And that's when I'm home. I don't need nobody to tell me you need to look for a job. Like, I'm already doing it. Like, it's something that I want. So I could stay out here and live a normal life. Okay. That, uh, that makes sense. Um, do you have any specific questions that you want to ask me about the job? I want to know um, just about the company as a whole. Okay. Like, does your company hire ex-offenders? Yes. Yes, we, we, we do. In other words, just because you had a, uh, a criminal record, we're not going to disqualify you. Uh, what I'm concerned about, okay, I'm concerned that um, um, that you've made a conscious decision to uh, put that behind you. I'm concerned that, that um, you know, when things get tough, and, and I know uh, that sometimes when you come out of prison, because I, I had a cousin who, who got out of jail, I guess about a year or two ago, and it, w it was tough for him, you know, to, to find something. He didn't live in this area, but uh, uh, it was tough for him to find something. And I know that because of, you know, some adversities that he had come up with, he actually resorted to go back to doing his criminal behavior. That was the only thing he seemed like or believed that he could do. Um, so I guess I, I'm, I'm really concerned that you are motivated and you are dependable to become that um, improved person. I like the fact that, you know, maybe sitting in the back of the van um, gave you this kind of like rebirth you know, type situation and I hope that it would carry through. So yeah, just because you had the, um, criminal conviction we're not going to uh, disqualify you. I, I you know, I'm more concerned with what you can do and get and, and give you a shot. Yeah. So, so that should not be a problem. Um, any qu other questions? Uh, as far as advancement, like is it an opportunity for advancement working here? Yeah. What I would like what well, what we do, um, um, we I like to try to hire from within, so I know you may be starting out in an entry level position, whether it's dishwashing or busboy or whatever. But what we do is make available, okay, other positions that may be open, you know, it's within the company. Uh, if those positions require some additional training, we'll let you know that we have some training available, when it would be, and hopefully you may be able to take advantage of that and maybe apply for, for some other positions. So yes, um, advancement is definitely uh, available. Um, what we try to do is every six months to sit down with every employee and go over an evaluation so that you can see um, where you are, you know, as far as, you know, our thinking, you know, concerning the job you're doing. Um, and um, uh, and I, I would hope that you would definitely take advantage of that, yes. Anything else? Now, uh, when would you be available to start? Are you, are, you, are you able to work now? Yeah, I can start as soon as possible. Okay. Um, all right. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to uh, sit down with uh, my assistant, go over you know, your uh, resume, go over some of the things we talked about, your training and everything, and um, I will get back to you by Monday. Great. Thanks for coming in. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. I guess you can tell the next person.